Smith, he's uh, bumped out of the road, it's into the St Kilda forward pocket, coming in as Ian Rowland. He's met hard here as Ted Potter comes in, he kicks it back to Collingwood's half-back line. It's a bat, he bumps into his own player, he bounds off Oakley and then tries to give it to the Doc. The Doc will extricate himself like Houdini out of this problem, I think, but he's beaten again by Potter, who beats him on the ground. The ball has gone over here towards Patterson, Patterson shoots to the wing. The ball has gone out towards Darrell Griffiths and touches into it and does remarkably well in the last quarter. It's a very poor kick by Stewart Standard and it's been easily marked by Ted Potter in the last line of defence. Give a kick, oh, short pass on the back line, high in the air to Wallace. He just gets it in time before he's tackled by Manzi. That's not the Potter touch on the back line. He generally clears it with strong kicks. There's a kick by Wallace. He's looking out here for Dunn. Dunn is too good in the air, gets away, has a bounce. Steadies himself and drop kicks it down the wood centre half forward. There's a chance there for Britt. Number six, which is the same as McKenna, more than any other player on the ground, Ian Stewart. Up towards the centre wing. Green is behind Potter on this occasion. And Potter playing well, hand passes it across towards Barry Price, who comes down the woods full forward. Waters is there over the head of the pack. Green in a long hand pass to the young Pitt uh, and Pat now, despite the fact that Collingwood are three or four goals behind, this is an interesting game, an entertaining game. There's something spectacular going on all the time, and that was a, an incident. Up all the line, and Green falls all over himself. It's a play on call. Green is Guernsey number four now, having had his uh, regular Guernsey ripped off him in the first half. The ball is picked up there on the back lines by Potter. Steer, stems the tide, clears to Tottenham. Tottenham ready for the hand pass. Alex now, because the pass is covered, to go back and take the kick. He is between the centre wing and the half-forward line and kicks this into the full forward pocket at the South Road goal. Up they go, can Ian Graham mark all water? The two Collingwood high flyers against each other and it's Ian Graham taking them up. Well, uh, Graham played tremendously well there. He showed enormous intelligence. He directed where Tudnam was to kick the ball and knew to the inch exactly how far Tudnam could kick. The difference in favour of the Saints. Jenkins knocks the ball down and is taken there on the defence side of the centre of the circle by uh, Stewart. Kicks to the half-forward line. Green, who's been consistently behind, appeals for the mark. Taken off him and Potter gets the verdict and Killer doesn't like it. No, I'm with Potter. Potter's played real well. He's game enough to prop himself in front. So if there's anything coming, you get it. Seven minutes into the final turn. Three points the difference. From 30 points down at one stage in the game, the Magpies are three points only down now, and Tomo takes the mark. Off, electrifying down here. Wayne Richardson couldn't get his kick. Moran did. Down she goes to the half-forward line. Tottenham couldn't pick the ball up, but Potter helped him out of his trouble. Just a wide to the...